rheumatoid arthritis is estimated to affect approximately 0.24 to 1% of the Indian population and to be twice as common in women compared with men. It affects more than 180 million people in India. The prevalence is higher than many well-known diseases like diabetes, AIDS, and cancer. Around 14% of the Indian population seeks a doctor help every year for this joint disease. At MediCircle, we are doing a series on rheumatoid arthritis, and we are speaking to eminent doctors and trying to know the facts about it. Hi, I'm Smita Kumar at MediCircle, and today our guest for the talk is Dr. Adhar Dhuria. Dr. Adhar Dhuria is a rheumatology consultant at STM Hospital, Jaipur. He has worked as a senior research associate at PGI Chandigarh, gaining invaluable experience in the management of difficult rheumatological disorders. Dr. Adhar has carried out extensive research in the field of rheumatoid arthritis and SLE, and has also presented his research work at various international conferences such as EULAR and ACR. He is well versed in the management of all adult rheumatoid rheumatic diseases and is a life member of the Indian Rheumatology Association. Hi, Dr. Adhar. Welcome to MediCircle. Uh, thank you, Smita, for a very, very kind and flattering introduction. It's good to be here and talk about rheumatoid arthritis with you today. You're most welcome, Dr. Adhar. Uh, so to begin with, what are the signs and symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis and when to visit a doctor in case one identifies any symptom? So the most common symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis or for that matter, any arthritis is joint pain. Mm -hmm. So in rheumatoid arthritis, it characteristically involves the small joints of the hands, or simply put your knuckles and the joints behind, the wrist, the elbow, the knees, and the ankles. So if you have pain in any of these joints and you notice a swelling around the joint, so you should visit a doctor then. One cardinal symptom that can be easily explained and can be easily noticed by the patient is something we call as early morning stiffness. Mm -hmm. So as the word is self-explanatory, when you wake up in the morning, if your joints feel tight or stiff and you feel that you have to work about a bit, maybe for 30 minutes or so, before you feel some life returning to your fingers, so that's a very important symptom of rheumatoid arthritis. Mm -hmm. So it's not something big, it's just three simple things. Pain, swelling, stiffness. Okay. If you have these, you should visit a doctor. And the reason for visiting a doctor early rather than waiting is the earlier you treat, the less damage it causes. So these are the three cardinal symptoms. And uh, so there is, the first person you should visit is actually a general practitioner that he can have a look because it's very easy to look at your body and feel that something is swollen. Mm -hmm. Our mind always plays tricks. You feel pain, you look at it, you always feel it is swollen. And obviously we do not have as many rheumatologists as the country needs. So you can visit a general practitioner or an orthopedic surgeon in the beginning so that they can identify and actually tell that yes, you have a swollen joint. And then only you should move on to a rheumatologist depending on availability. Okay. So in this case, do dietary changes help like in easing out the effects of the rheumatoid arthritis? So that's the million dollar question actually. If you look at the Indian society, so uh, primarily Ayurveda always says that diet makes a big difference. And the slowly rheumatology is recognizing the effect of diet on the gut microbiota simply. So we all know that there is something living in our body. There is a balance between health and disease. So it is now agreed that there is some impact of diet on rheumatoid arthritis. Okay. But it is very difficult to say that whether some particular foods are harmful. But one habit that is definitely harmful is smoking. Okay. So this much we are clear about that if you smoke, you have a chance of getting rheumatoid arthritis and it's going to be slightly worse. Okay. So uh, one common problem that we face whenever we have patients is that Patients have been told by the relatives not to have pulses, not to have black grams, not to have milk, not to have curd. And frankly, they don't make that big a difference. Okay. So what we usually tell the patient is, see, if a particular food makes you feel worse, don't take it. Okay. But don't modify your diet too much. Otherwise, it becomes nutritionally deprived. Okay. So uh, I'm sure the future will tell us more 
but as of now the dietary factors are believed to play some role but the definitive role is actually missing till now okay oh uh, doctor there is a very big myth stating that there isn't any treatment for rheumatoid arthritis like you might have encountered this question several times from your patients also so people just have to live with it without having a cure cure so is it true can rheumatoid arthritis be cured uh, so i think you have hit the million dollar question here or rather the bull's eye actually so cure is a little bit uncommon but still at least 10 to 20 percent of patients are able to remain without any medications without symptoms okay. on a longer term basis okay. as far as the treatment goes so we now have fantastic treatments so we have drugs which are very very cheap from hardly 10 rupees or 20 rupees a day to those which are very very expensive costing above 50000 rupees a month and the good thing is that even the cheap drugs work very very well Oh, and most of our patients so if i talk about my practice more than 80% of my patients are able to live their life to the full extent with minimal symptoms and minimal side effects so this misconception that uh, there is no cure or nothing that that's unwarranted okay i mean it's just like hypertension it's, it's you just have it's just a part of life you can't focus too much on it you just have to take your medicines properly exercise maintain a healthy lifestyle and the, there will be no difference between your life before rheumatoid and after rheumatoid arthritis so the worst thing that happens is that patients wait too much in the early phase of the disease okay believing their neighbors and well wishers and don't take treatment 5 10 years down the line the disease has gone bad the joints are damaged so the classical image that you that your mind props up when you think of arthritis is is somebody with a misshapen hand and that does not happen in the initial stage of the disease it takes 5 10 15 years for that to happen okay and by that time it's a little bit late to make it go back to normal even patients who seem to have a very bad disease respond very well to treatment because see pain our idea is to give maximum functionality with minimal pain with the least possible side effects possible so uh i should clarify this i think i uh, mis- uh, misled the public so idea is take the treatment as early as possible but it is never too late to take treat definitely so let's look at the numbers like as rheumatoid arthritis is a disease that is not uncommon and estimated to have a prevalence of about 1% of the population in india that's a huge number so do you think early detection can lower the count so actually what early detection does is actually it reduces the lead time bias so it's a little bit technical term so what it does it it seems to it seems that the disease has become milder okay so you screen early you catch early so that will actually increase the number of patients that are actually suffering because in india what happens is people don't have access to healthcare so all the numbers that we feel are actually on the lower side not the higher side okay the benefit of catching it early is that more patients will be able to live their lives without drugs okay without deformities and uh, it will reduce the amount of dread associated with the disease definitely because uh, unfortunately so what happens is there is a very common test for rheumatoid arthritis that is known as rf factor by the general public and rf by the doctors so we now know that the test is positive a little bit earlier before the disease becomes bad but what is exactly unclear is how much difference early treatment makes in terms of ultimate care that is drug free treatment but what is very very clear is that if you prevent the deformities from coming the quality of life improves a lot okay so all these prevalence terms are from clinical studies if you go to the real world we are likely to have a much higher prevalence okay i i said i hope that answers your question yeah surely it definitely answers the question i think our audience would be really more aware about the symptoms and especially the myths related to it because as most of us feel that if you have rheumatoid arthritis it is completely incurable and you have to live with the pain but actually on the other hand if you have done early screening if you have approached the right uh, rheumatoid arthritis doctor for this a good rheumatologist definitely your situation can be better and you can fight the with this disease 
So thank you so much, uh, Dr. Radhar, for joining us and sharing this vital information about rheumatoid arthritis with our viewers today. I'm sure our viewers would be much more aware about this disease now. Uh, thank you so much, Smita, and uh, it's wonderful talking with you. Sure. Welcome.